What's up, guys? You guys like that uh, little little rock intro I had? Uh, <laughs> yeah, it gives us a little bit more a uh, little bit more edge, man. So yeah, right before I put this on, someone says, "Man, I want I want some Metallica on this AMA. Give us a little fire. Give us hit, hit us with some rock." And uh, while I couldn't do in my quick work, get some actual uh, Metallica guitar riff and just a short audio file, uh, I was able to. Uh, there we go. I was able to get that. And I, was, I thought, you know what? I, I could I, I could hear Metallica putting out that. So, uh, yeah, I put that together. But welcome, everybody. I'm Steven, the voice of DeFi. And, uh, yeah, we've got an exciting one today. Whenever we do AMAs like this, you always like to look at the token that's coming in so we can learn a little bit more about it. And today I'm really excited um, as we have some really intelligent people here and we're going to get into just how intelligent I think they are too. Wait till you see this math equation they've got in their white paper. It's uh, it, It'll blow your mind. You'll need a PhD just to be able to read it. So definitely some experts in their field. And even better, if you're an airdrop holder, you're about to get airdropped a bag of this you know it's kind of like just getting a little sample of what you want in your bag so you can say okay i like that i like the taste of this sample give me some more and you might be encouraged after you're hearing this ama to be able to go out and buy more than the bme that you're just going to be given for holding airdrop so an exciting times uh to be able to get this so yeah everybody Listen to this because I really think you'll enjoy this. But this will be Bitco Mine, or I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Are you guys here with me? Are you already in the in the room? Hello. Yes, we are. Thanks for not playing Metallica. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, you said you wanted some Metallica. I see. I see. I see what we can do in short notice. But uh, yeah, just got a little bit of a little bit of a rock guitar rock guitar there so yeah welcome i really appreciate you guys coming in here joining the airdrop network everybody before i really get going one thing i will encourage you to do is to head over to the bitco mines telegram channel introduce yourself say you're from airdrop that's always fine to say but then say why you're excited that you're with airdrop today because you know that you'll get their token and let them know make them feel welcome inviting them to come over here they can come over here and share What's so great about their token here in our uh, airdrop community? We're all we're all family here. You know, everybody can uh, cross pollinate with each other. And if uh, if if uh, if Bitcoin Mine is having a a big promotion, then they need to feel welcome to come over here. So make sure you go over to their Telegram and uh, introduce yourself. But yeah, so welcome. Uh, this is Ahmed. He is one of the team there at Bitco Mine, and uh, you guys have been working hard uh, these last uh, last few weeks on this token. Is that correct? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. yes. We, we missed our sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sleep and token launches don't really go hand in hand. So let me know, how did you get started in crypto? You know, Education in this space seems to come just from experience, but what was your introduction into just the, the world of cryptocurrency? Hey, Steven, how's things going on? So, well, there you are. Okay. I, I didn't, I didn't realize you were already in the room. I was going to leave it to a to answer all these. <laughs> Actually, I'm so happy for hosting us, me and Ahmed. I'm the CEO of Bitcoin Mine and Ahmed represent the CFO. Actually, um, okay. I like your intro. Uh, it's amazing. <laughs> uh, actually I would like to hear some Metallica as well. So, uh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. So coming back to your question about Bitcoin mine and how did we get here? Uh, well, actually, all have been, for me, all have been started when a tech guy asked me about if I can pay him in, in Bitcoin, right? This is in 2015. And when we talked about it a, a little bit, I thought that it's just another scam. But it turns out... <laughs> That I missed that opportunity. <laughs> it turns out it was not a scam, right? If there was a narrator, yeah, if there's a narrator and say it was not a scam, right? <laughs> that's that's totally true. So since then, I started digging and digging uh, in, in the crypto world. Um, I did some like tradings. Uh, I lost some. I won some. 
and I got scammed from, of course. So uh, um, it's not easy to be here in the uh, cryptocurrency world or this crazy world without having all these challenges. But uh, since we started thinking about a solution for all these challenges, challenges for the people, or small traders or expert traders, actually, we found out that we need to find something in the middle. So here we come with Combine, and you are pronouncing it correctly. <laughs> good, good, good. <laughs> well, it's always worth, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a big fear that I'm going to, you know, give this real grandiose introduction and then completely screw up the name of a, of, of, of a token. So I'm, no, I'm, I'm glad. Fine. No, you're fine. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad to do that. So it sounds like a lot of yours, first of all, you know, pour one out for you in 2015 for hearing about Bitcoin, and not, uh, not acting on it. And I think we all have a somewhat of a story like that, that we heard about it at first, but didn't quite take it seriously. Uh, right. But, you know, so you kind of went through that and you, you went through the education as now, as you look back, you're like, okay, there's an opportunity that I passed up. So now what's amazing here and maybe kind of a weird turn of events is now you have your own token that is an opportunity for other people. And it would be wise for them, um, per your story, to 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 not do the same thing that you did in 2015. Right. That's right. That's right. It is. And and uh, we are trying to build that or let us say rebuilding that bridge of trust between the token or the tokenomic uh, type of tokens and the people who are still believing that uh, um, all the tokens are scam, all whatever whatever happening today and whatever uh, type of tokens comes to the market is just a scam. Um, we are trying so hard to change that thoughts and the way of thinking. So I'm, I'm glad you said that because man, it is, if I go to Reddit right now to just crypto moonshots and uh, just look at, you know, sort by new, I will bet if I invested a hundred dollars into the next hundred things that uh, came up on there, I would lose, mm -hmm. <laughs> I would lose a lot, a lot of money. Okay. Cause there's just almost right. everything is a scam, but it sounds like you want to kind of attack that a little bit to make, I don't know if you want to change the perception of it or just to kind of protect people. Um, with that, you're using your own experience that you had, um, you know, to be able to do this. First of all, ha have you ever been involved, not personally, but invested in something that turned out to be a scam and you, you, you kind of agonized over uh, that? Who, who not? Who not? Actually, I, I, the first, the first like, uh, uh, token that I got scammed of it. And I'm, I'm, I'm that person who was studying each step and taking my time. Right, I'm investing in in in, in cryptocurrencies that uh, there is a behind, uh, there is a project behind it. Uh, it's a famous one. People are talking about it very well. Uh, after studying it, after doing all the research, which, which takes sometimes up to three four hours to finish it, and when I got scammed, it was Dogecoin. Oh wow! I lost seven thousand five hundred dollars. In one day. And you got scammed. Oh, man. Oh, man. $7,000 on that day's valuation. Yes. 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 And I, and I know that hurts. I mean, seriously, it, it literally, hurts. we talk yes. about sleeps. Yeah, we talk about sleeping. It, it literally keeps you from sleeping well. Um, so you have your own experience that kind of came to the, you know, grew into you creating Bitcoin mine. So did you see like an unmet need in the marketplace that you thought was unaddressed that you thought, well, I'm going to create my own token to be able to kind of meet this unmet need. Okay. Let's agree on one thing. Bitcoin for the people, not for the whales, not for the centralized exchanges. Right. right. So there is no way, uh, uh to make the people understand the importance of Bitcoin. And once you are uh, uh, trying to explain it for someone, you should have in your wallet a Bitcoin. He will start saying that it's too expensive. I can't manage to get it. Even if, if you have like $100, $200. But honestly, if, if this is all of his investment in, in $200, in the crypto world. So 
obviously he can't. He can't manage to get Bitcoin. Sure. So this is where we come. Uh, this, this is where we build this idea of Bitcoin mine to make the people um, actually get the Bitcoin very easy. And it's just a small investment. And then you will start to see that your wallet is bumping up with the, uh, uh, with the Bitcoin. So, uh, based on our, our, uh, like idea of redistributing 11% uh, MBTC every 24 hours for those who hold 37,500,000. So all they need to do is just hold BME as 30,700,000, uh, 30,500,000 token, which is, uh, equal to a half BNB, and then you will start to get uh, Bitcoin. So this is the bridge. This is the bridge that I talked about. We need to build that bridge between us and the communities and between us and the people as well. And we need to teach them. We need to help them understand the importance of Bitcoin. But you cannot afford such idea unless you are helping the people. So what yeah. I'm getting today is just to uh, uh, tell the people, we will help you to, to get that Bitcoin in your wallet and we will start to share it between us because this is the way how the whales and centralized exchanges, they don't have that much power uh, on, on, on Bitcoin, right? Because as you know, they are the one who is controlling Bitcoin. When, whenever Bitcoin goes up, the, the whole market will go up. And whenever it goes down, the whole market will go down. So because they are managing to share the most of the Bitcoin in the market. But if we can put our hands on small, small pieces by time, we will be able to like, we will, we will be able to manage a, a decent amount of Bitcoin in our wallets. You know, I'm really glad that you mentioned these small pieces of it. I've kind of thought that almost the industry does a disservice by referring to Bitcoin in its actual unit of Bitcoin. Whenever they say, you know, oh, you know, this mm -hmm. person owns th owns three Bitcoin. And I think mm -hmm. the I think the new person into the space sees that high dollar value, you know, sees fifty thousand dollars for a Bitcoin and thinks I'm out. I can't get in. It's too expensive. And right. I think if if we referred to things as, you know, sats or something, you know, a, a very small value, people would think, oh, I can afford a sat. You know, that's <laughs> that, that that's cheap. So I'm glad that you're kind of focusing on just small amount in, you know, accumulation uh, uh, eventually, you know, in in I'm, I'm from the States, I'm from the United States. And, you know, there's a saying and I'm sure there's a saying like this in every mm -hmm. country that says, you know, save your pennies and your dollars will take care of themselves. And that's, you could say the same thing about Bitcoin is, you know, save your sats and your Bitcoins. Will totally take care right. of themselves. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I, I'm really glad you're doing that. And I think there is a need out there because if you'll read and everybody, I really recommend you take a look at their white paper, but their white paper refers a lot to education um, about <laughs> Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. Can you, uh, you know, can you expound on that a little bit on education on how you would like to educate people, you know, whether it be through video or through, you know, just your telegram or how would you like to help people learn about the space? That's a good question, actually. Um, today we are facing a lot of issues, right? So whenever another, uh, like any new token comes up to the market, uh, it's either uh, a spam or scam or it's a threat or it's a, a real token. But what if we have the tools, the right tools and the ways of understanding how to measure, what to measure and how to get into a token without facing a threats, a real threats. Um, starting from educating the people on the importance of Bitcoin, we will also help them to understand more and more about the crypto world. This crazy world is uh, every day changing in, in, in different ways. Um, actually, we are working to build an academy, Ooh. which will be mainly focusing on crypto and the cryptocurrency, uh, starting from zero until you get hero. So 
uh, this is our main goal. And uh, honestly speaking, we are working so hard because, you know, this is not easy task to do. It's, it's not just another platform. You will put it online and grab some videos. YouTube uh, and all open sources like uh, video sources such as YouTube, um, you can find a lot of people talking about cryptocurrency. You can Absolutely. find a lot of people talking about blockchain. But it's hard to to understand for, for, for a beginner, for example. It's hard to understand from where to begin. Should I create a wallet on, on Binance Smart Chain, uh, Binance uh, app, or should I go to Trust Wallet? Where do I get my money? How do I get it? And what is what is the difference between a cryptocurrency and token? Uh, what is the blockchain? Where is it? Where is the blockchain? And all these questions. So we will answer all of these questions through academy with a specialized people who will focus mainly to educate the people. And we don't need anything in front of that. As long as you are a token holder, a PME holder, then all the academy is open for you. Okay. Yeah. Cause that you, you actually are getting into what my next line of questioning would be for this. First of all, Mr. Giff uh, just now put in the white paper and uh, a link to the white paper in the telegram. So check that out as we're going through mm -hmm. this. But you just now mentioned something that I was going to say, because I thought at first I thought that you were going to just put like some videos on YouTube to help with education. And my counterpoint to that, because, you know, I always do try to I don't try to just lob you softballs. I try to ask you something that would actually be you know relevant to people is that what would yes. stop people from just watching the video? You know, if you put a video on YouTube, what would stop people from just watching these videos on YouTube and never investing in your project? Cause your product would be for free, but it sounds to me like, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, are you trying to say that there's going to be uh, you know, an access point where you have to hold some BME to be able to get access to these videos? Do I understand that correctly? Uh, uh, Sort off, yes, uh, a small amount. You don't you don't have to hold that much amount. Uh, Five dollars okay. could be like something forever. Um, you are you are free to sell it at any time. You don't have as long as you need to to access that platform. You will have to uh, uh, put in your wallet um, a few game just to to make sure that our community understanding our goals. We are focusing on the community. And we are focusing on uh, the community, like all over the the idea of Bitcoin. Line. Uh, we are not just trying to put some money in our wallet, uh, uh, Stephen. Whenever we are trying to do anything, we are focusing how the community will get benefit of that, and I will prove it for you. But uh, just give me like. Uh, Two, three seconds until uh, the next question. Uh, and He's going to prove it. The... I've got a sound effect for you. <laughs> there we go. There All right. So, uh, if we go... <laughs> <laughs> so if we go through the uh, white paper, you will be able to see. I want to one of, of our community guys. Um, there is a post about the locked wallets and unlocked wallets. If you can share it, guys, with us here. You will be able to see that our our wallets, the, the, the token wallets, uh, are locked. And it's not open for uh, as well uh, for the rewards. So we are not sharing any rewards from BTC or BME with the people, right? We are not taking anything from that 11% to our wallets as a token. All the, wallet, all the wallets are locked. Uh, uh, no, I'm talking about, guys, I'm talking about the, the post itself, not the screen. I'm talking about the post itself. So uh, you will be able to see that our token uh, will never get any rewards, will never get uh, any, um, like, any extra, um, what do you call it, any extra benefits. All the, uh, all the, all the um, wallets are logged from um, taking from it for one year and or to get rewards. So that's something for sure. Uh, Dr. Ahmed Nazar will explain it more and more. Doctor, are you here? Are you here? I'm always here, Mr. No. <laughs> always here. <laughs> he's I'll always watching. He's always listening. 
He's always. <laughs> he's the doctor. He's the doctor. We can't do anything. He's the CFO. He's controlling anything. <laughs> <laughs> Well, one thing I want to say about these locked wallets, um, and you both can comment on this, is if we haven't made it clear that this is a rewards token that can pay up to every hour in Bitcoin. Okay, so uh, some amount of every percentage and you guys can get into that. I don't want to steal your thunder. uh, uh, You know, uh, a percentage of every transaction is converted into Bitcoin and then is distributed amongst the wallets. But one of the things that you just said that I want both of y'all to or one of you to comment on is that it's distributed to the wallets, but that doesn't mean that it's redistributed to all wallets. So the Bitcoin rewards don't go to every wallet. Do I understand that correct? Yes, that's totally correct. Uh, So let's uh, first uh, say hi to all and uh, special thanks to you. Uh, Let's start from the logged wallets. when my, my friend uh, said uh, that all token wallets are locked. So we, uh, the token wallets will never, under any circumstances, will have any kind of rewards from the project, like PTC, BME, or the Bitcoin cycle. Uh, in this case, uh, if anyone will, can, uh, will uh, check the BS scan, uh, he will see that uh, those are totally locked. Uh, Regarding your question, and uh, excuse me, um, maybe my English will be like a little bit rusty if you will spend it 11 years speaking Italian, Norwegian, Danish, Swedish, your English will uh, fly away. So if something will happen, (laughs) uh, I'm so sorry for this. I'm a little bit rusty and old. Your English is, Uh, (laughs) it's sounding great. You you go on forward. You're doing great. (laughs) Oh, thank you. Thank you. So regarding your question, if, uh, for example, uh, I bought from BME token, uh, let's say, uh, less than 37 million 500 tokens today. Uh, this means that I'm eligible to, to join the rewarding system. But which kind of rewarding system? Uh, I'm not eligible to uh, join the BTC rewarding system because it's, you know, a uh, more equal or more than 37 million 500,000. In this case, I'm not going to make all people that they can afford to buy BNB or half BNB or two BNB, whatever, to make them rich. Because we, from the beginning, we agreed on something, Bitcoin for everyone. Okay, I can, I afford to buy three or four or six Bitcoin, for example, but Mahdi cannot. So what to do? I'm not leaving him behind. So I said, okay, from the slippage, and we all know what is the slippage, uh, I will give you some rewards in order to make, to encourage you to accumulate or to save or to make like a deposit and having uh, some kind of friends uh, to be eligible to join the BTC rewarding system. So this mechanism uh, we adopted and the it's working 100% for all investors right now. And uh, the most important thing, and I think I should brag about it, it's 100% automated. So as a team member or the founder or uh, the programmer, I don't have any access to change. Okay, I don't want to give this wallet today. I want to give my friend, for example. No, 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 no. This is automated. The contract will read the wallets. He will check wallet by wallet. This, that, this, that, and he will classify, organize, and after that, uh, the swapping for Bitcoin. All people that they got more than this amount, specific amount, automatically this deposit will go direct to their wallets. So. This case for Bitcoin, for the BME, it's the same. And if you if you notice, there is two complicated. Uh, you said that there are complicated uh, formulas or equations. 
But oh yeah, I've, I've got a, I'm gonna screenshot this so everybody can see this. <laughs> I just, I, you know, it's not complicated to you, <laughs> but I'm willing to bet you're selling yourself short for how complicated it is to everybody else. Everybody, check out what I just now put out there on the Telegram chat. This is what this man says is not complicated, and. <laughs> Uh, it gives, this is kind of funny because it gives me an idea that these guys know what they're doing because if they look at that, yeah, easy peasy, <laughs> no problem, oh, uh, says the guy that's not wearing pants. If you read that and say it's not complicated, then you are on another level than I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah there you go. OG Steve has got exactly how I feel looking at that. Yeah, easy, doing this in the morning. Yeah, so <laughs> everybody, that is some crazy equation, but where did I get that? So you're wondering, where did he even get that? It's on uh, the rewarding mechanism of where they came out with this minimum amount of BME to have this. So it says, you know, it should be noted that all calculations are based on pre-sale prices and all that. You can read all of it, but then it gets into that equation. And I'm telling you, as I was reading your white paper, I was like, whoa, what? the hell is this? What is, what is going on here? Uh, and I looked at it and I, you know, I, I understand a little math, uh, but uh, yeah. And then I talked to you about it and you're like, oh yeah, no problem. No problem. I, this, this wasn't any, a hard one at all. So yeah, it, uh, yeah, someone said it looks like nudes. Uh, um, yeah. So ultimately, yeah, this is, I think what I take from it is a lot of thought went into your number of 3.75 million BME. Um, how long did y'all discuss this? Did y'all discuss the pros and cons of coming up with this equation and ultimately the 3.75 million? Was this uh, a lot of debate internally? Uh, more or less, uh, yes. And uh, so let's agree on something. I'm a type of a guy that I love mathematics. And uh, when I wanted to do my my passion or my hobby, the programmer in our team, he started to hate me so much. And CEO, he wanted to kill me. So let's, <laughs> let's be clear about this. So I didn't let's add do. all the functions. <laughs> he was like, can, can he's, confirm. He's, he's <laughs> geek of, of math. He, he can't believe that. He can't imagine how we suffered with, with Dr. Nazal through the, you know, calculation and all the equations <laughs> that he came with. Yeah. So the equation should be like, you should take the limits, which is limb in mathematics, to the infinity. But instead of that, they forced me to change the whole logic. So if you will look about this uh, formula, and uh, yes, you said something really uh, quick. Uh, all those equation, uh, calculations based on the pre sale price. Uh, if you remember, uh, almost uh, 20 days ago, the BNB was like uh, down. And right. I think it was around 280, 270. So we started the calculations when the prices was around like 265, 270. So we said, uh, now BNB is really cheap. So I can afford to have half a BNB. Yeah, it's okay. But we said, no, until we are going to lunch or are going to the pancake swab, maybe something will happen. Maybe the prices will go up, which is what happened. So we said, okay, half BNB will be like around 37 million 500. But still, the prices went up uh, and it's supposed to be like around 45 million. I will give you like a little bit shock when we went to the pancake as well. But when we looked at the situation and you have less than half an hour to decide, <clears throat> this is really complicated. We said, okay, we will keep it like this, simple like this, easy, anyone can understand, uh, everyone can join and participate the BTC because we are a community project. So we will keep it like this and if you will check when we went to the bank as well, it's supposed to be 45 million. But we said it's okay. So, the, the logic behind this, uh, I have a slippage 13%. Uh, and uh, I want to uh, speak like a little bit mathemati mathematics here. I'm not giving you 11% from this uh, slippage. I 
I'm giving you 84%, 0.61 from this slippage. If you will divide uh, 11% over 13%, it will be like 84%. So I said, okay, this 11% or whatever, uh, how should I do? What should I do with it? Uh, should I calculate or count one by one? No, it will be like impossible. So in this case, I will use the summation principle from n equals one, which is the first holder for this token. Let's say it was me. I was the first one who bought the BCL until infinite. Okay, what should I do with this? Uh, I, we had this crazy idea, uh, uh, which is like connecting the slippage or tax or fees with trading volume. So, as much as we have trading volume goes around, uh, this means that uh, my profit or my reward will be high according to the amount that I own, which is let's say like 37 million, 500,000. 500, so the equation simple like this, the sigma, it's the trading volume by itself, and you know, buy and sell, you will have fees. Uh, divided by the circulating supply. And you know how much the bigger circulating supply, this means that less profits. Multiplied with gamma. Gamma, how much tokens that you have in your own bucket. So it's really like uh, simple. For me, it's really like simple. It's like uh, one, two, three. Uh, a little bit crazy because we connected slippage or fees or tax trading volume. Uh, and a lot of people, they will ask, okay, but uh, there is uh, no rewards today. Uh, the rewards is a little bit low. Yeah, we understand. We already discussed and uh, explained and talked about as much as you, uh, we have trading volume or the contract, not we. The contract has more trading volume volume means that you have you will have more rewards so, so in this case yeah oh well go ahead I, I, I hate to interrupt and, and i question of why you wanted to give such a simple concept to everybody <laughs> i'm just joking this, this is someone yeah. said their brain was overheating and uh yeah that's uh, this is some <laughs> high, high, high level stuff you. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah 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 you were right you 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 did not short sell um, uh, uh, Dr. Nazal's uh, ability to be able to uh, break down some high level math here. Now, a couple things that you said, and, and maybe we'll go ahead and jump into it. But what I really enjoy from this is you didn't just give a static number. You didn't just say, no. hey, hold, hold 3 million and that's what it's going to be in perpetuity. What you wanted to do with this is to make it to where it's scalable. Do I understand that correct? If if uh, if mm -hmm. Bitcoin if Bitcoin's one hundred fifty thousand dollars tomorrow and BME goes up as well, it needed to be able to uh, grow and shrink with the two markets uh, together. Is that the ultimate purpose of this? You know, very uh, simple. <laughs> as you put it, yes. the equation. I mean, is that the ultimate purpose to make sure that it's always scalable no matter where the markets go? Exactly. This is what, uh, this is why we are uh, one step over Ethereum. They're still trying to launch Ethereum to the scalability thing. So we are one step over them. So scalability, we didn't have any fixed numbers, uh, trading volume flexible circulating supply flexible, how much tokens you have in your own wallet, it's flexible. So uh, no matter, the prices will go up, go down, you have this. But keep in mind that this this number, which is like the half BNB, let's say, or the 37 million, uh, it will be subject for adjustment. Uh, someone will say how. As right, know. so it could the, it, it could yeah. change, right? It's 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 thirty seven, it's three point seven five million at, at like you said at, at launch prices, but this is kind of an elastic number, right? As the market yeah. changes, that number will change. So it's you know at, at launch it was point oh five B and B worth of BME, but that's uh, yes. different today, mind. and it's going to be different tomorrow. 
I don't mind interrupting. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I will explain it in, in the from the other world, <laughs> from, not from the math world. Okay. Uh, so simple and easy. When we when we started this, we considered two two kind of people: the type of people who can afford uh, half PMB and above. All right, and there is there are another people who cannot. I'm, I'm honest with you, uh, Stephen. It's not easy for all the people to afford a half BNB. We don't know. We don't know the situation for most of the people. And um, unfortunately, most of the people join the crypto world because they have dreams. They think that in one day they will, you know, jump up with a hundred thousand or one million in their pocket, which is totally not right. So. Based right. on that, we decided to have two kinds of levels and uh, uh, changes uh, at the same time. For those who cannot afford the minimum required to get into the BTC rewards, they can get BME rewards, which will help them to reach that minimum, right? So I will write on the chat three, 3 million. Okay. 3 million 750,000 is the minimum required to join the uh, BME or to get the BME reward, which is represent 1% from the daily trading volume. But if you have enough money to get MBTC directly, so all you have to do is 3 million 700, uh, 3 million uh, 3, 37 million five hundred thousand to get the BTC rewards every 24 hour as 11% from the trading volume. So what if the prices goes up and down? We have to do something. We can't keep it. It might reach the 3,750,000. It might reach, uh, uh, for example, half BNB after uh, Two, three months who, sure. who knows yeah so we can make it just a 500,000 token right so this is the mechanism this is where we decided that we need to take care about the community we are as I said I mentioned that before I will keep mentioning that <laughs> we take care about the community because we believe that the community will take care about the token it's your token guys it's not ours the team has nothing to do with it we will not get any benefit of that token, honestly speaking, because if you see that uh, Team Wallet is logged for one year and, and, and only represent 5%, and by the way, I have to mention the, this for the guys, uh, for Bitcoin Mine Team, please bet, put one on the chat, Bitcoin Mine Team, put one in the chat. Guys, are you there? Put one if you are from, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to warn you that I've got some sound effects and I've got a sound effect for everything. So, <laughs> so, so uh, I believe that most of them, because uh, this is also to mention that we are Arabs and we came up with this idea from within, our, within like, um, from, from ourselves, like we didn't, we didn't, like ask anyone to help us through this and all of those guys who are mentioning uh, the one uh, those are not paid uh, team members means they will not get salaries at the end of the month and they are just invested as you will invest. community members yeah just true blue community exactly. members that love love their project hey I, I, exactly i think that's great to me a good project has three key components, okay? It's tokenomics, okay? Any type of, mm -hmm. you know, taxes and things like that. Team and mm -hmm. community and community. So you have to have all three of those. And in my mind, I think community may be the most important, even above team at times, okay? Now you have to have a good team. You have to have good tokenomics. I'm not trying to take away those two things. But without a good community, no one is really going to know about it because the community is where, you know, kind of marketing takes place and that sort of thing. And, you know, team is important too. You always have to have that. But a community 
is really, really important. So I think it's great that you have so many people in your community that not only are willing to be in your own Telegram, but they want to, you know, follow you around the Internet. If you're talking, they want to hear it, which I think is great. And they probably are, are math math majors at this point, uh, <laughs> listening to uh, <laughs> listening to Doctor Nizal. Now, one thing I want to move into real quick um, is Bitco cycle. Okay, so oh. <laughs> I, I'm going to say how I think I understand something. Okay, and yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and, and you can <laughs> yeah yeah explain exactly, and you you can help that help with this. But you know, you talk about this seasonal program with different cycles that tackles the daily trading volume. Anytime somebody has a, or anytime a team has an auto rewards token that gives out BNB or airdrop or, you know, whatever token it is they're rewarding with, you always need to have volume coming in. You have to have that daily trading volume. And if I was looking at Bitco Cycle, it looked like you guys were trying to tackle that issue of that needing that daily trading volume um, each and every day to be able to get enough to be able to give out the rewards. Did I, did I, did, did I get it? Do I get at least a C well, on this doctor? Uh, <laughs> the doctor now is calculating. I have nothing right. to do with this. I have nothing okay. to do with this. I'm just translating numbers to math. <laughs> okay, actually, gotcha. Actually, the, the, my understanding of uh, Bitcoin, uh, sorry, uh, the, the crypto in, in general is just stacking, uh, trading and all of these like, you know, things that we are doing daily, nothing, nothing new. So we came up as a team and this is for sure hundred percent. This is the first time this happening in the crypto world, having such an amazing idea that helps people to get like playing a game, uh, getting benefits of it increasing the cash in their pocket as well as increasing the trading volume on when when the cycle starts so bitco cycle it's like a small program that a small investment program that we have made and we came up with where you are um you will be asked to hold a certain amount let us say for example 100 million and based on that amount the cycle will start and the, the, the contract will scan those people who are holding 100 million. Let us say the cycle will start for 12 days because, because it will not uh, stay forever. It will start for 10 days or 7 days or 12 days. Then it will stop to start the, uh, uh, the second cycle. Uh, in cycle one, let us say that we hold 100 million token. And for that 100 million token, you will get on daily basis for example, a uh, 3% uh, as rewards and BME. So the only task you need to do is just make sure to sell those 3% by any way. Get rid of it because if the contract is scanned you on the second day and so that the 100 million is plus the 3% are there, then you will not be able to continue, right? So all you need to do is get rid of it Put some cash in your in your pocket, which is the three percent. Keep the hundred million because it might, uh, you know, the minimum as we said, thirty-seven million five hundred. That's mean you will still getting the BTC reward, which is eleven percent every twenty-four hour, and you will get also from the Bitcoin cycle the three percent of PME, right? So based on that, all you need to do for a twelve day, twelve days. Just get rid of the extra amount that you are getting from the BME, not from the Bitco, mm. not from the BTC. So what will happen is the trading volume will keep changing and increasing by the time. And until we finish the, the first cycle, another cycle will come, which is extra amount required. Let us say a 200 a million uh, tokens to get, for example, 7% per day. It's not a staking. It's not uh, uh, like uh, uh, a normal trading. It's just a small game and a smart way where it's all contracts uh, or, or all uh, uh, only the contracts controlled the Bitcoin cycle. We are not getting involved. We will just give the order, start the Bitcoin cycle, 
uh, stop the Bitcoin cycle. And that's, and that's the way it should be. That's the way it should be, right? Is the contract <laughs> is is kind of governing things. You don't, I mean, not that I don't trust your team, but uh, you always want as much possible things to be automated through the smart contract because there, you know, there's some some trust involved in that. Here's what I, th- and that, thank you for that explanation, by the way. Um, yeah. For the Bitcoin cycle, here's what I appreciate is that you guys are addressing some known issues with a rewards token. And you're, you're definitely doing that. And you're putting in both with uh, that, that crazy equation I did just now. And even with Bitcoin cycle, in my mind, and, and I, I'm going to be, I'm the average investor. I'm, I'm not, uh, I'm, I'm just an idiot behind a microphone. I ape into project. <laughs> I'm a DJ. Yeah, I'm not, at, yeah, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, I put 49% slippage on my slippage. <laughs> you know, I, uh, I just, I, I just want my trades to go through and I, I ask questions later. And so, uh, you know, do your own research. That's not, not financial advice, but <laughs> as I get into things, I do like to know that at least you, the team are considering some of these things that are issues that I experience in other rewards tokens. And it looks to me like you are, and you're doing it in a way that's, you know, ultimately math, right? I mean, you can't argue with math. Right. You can't argue with numbers. And so anybody that, you know, has any issue with it is going to be able to come to you and you could be able to answer with, Hey, one word math. <laughs> so answer me okay. this. Um, this is some complicated concepts in my mind. Are you having to, in your telegram chat, answer a lot of these questions or explain a lot of this often in your, in your community? <clears throat> Actually, we are answering all of these questions all the time, just to make sure that we are available 24 by seven for all the people to ask any questions. And whenever they want us as a team, now our community fully understand everything. But as a team, if you want the CEO, the CFO, the CTO, all these names are just names, uh, Stephen. We don't, we don't, we don't care about it. Honestly speaking, I don't care that if I'm the CFO or the CEO or CTO, because these just names, you know, we need to ar- organize the work behind the scenes. So these are just names for, uh, you know, get the things in the right way. Uh, but whenever they want us to talk about anything or asking anything, they will definitely get the answer. Because as I said, community comes first. Community over greed. We don't, we are not looking to put uh, extra cash in our wallet. We are good about that, but we don't need to put extra cash. We, um, we, we joined the pre-sale as anyone did. We um, purchased from the bank cake as anyone did. So we are here just to chat and having fun, getting uh, Bitcoin in our wallets and that's it. So uh, well, yes, all the questions are, has been answered. And even if they join the community, they will see that all the uh, questions are there and depends, uh, you know, um, th- this is an example for uh, like someone shared. Um, you will see everything. It's obvious. Mr. Jeff, uh, just shared the post. Everything is clear. We, 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 we have nothing to hide actually. I love the transparency. I love the, the ability to be able to be transparent and say, Hey, we're the team. We're here. We're here to answer questions. And I think that's beautiful. One of the, while I never give financial advice, one thing I will say is many, many times it's better to invest in teams almost rather than to invest in tokens. And yep. yeah, with you, your team, it sounds like it, it constantly you're reflecting back to me how important the community is. So you as a team, it doesn't even sound like you like the spotlight on you as much as you like the spotlight on your own community, which I think is that's, really big. All right. Totally so right. Yes. excellent. One more item I want to cover on your white paper, which it looks like you're trying to help with, you know, just the, the risk of being, uh, you know, rugged and that's your, your Bitco tool. Can you get a little bit into that and how it might help prevent an investor from getting involved in <laughs> unsavory again, you investments? Have, <laughs> again, you have to deal with the doctor, <laughs> but uh, uh, Bitco tool has nothing to do with the math, but he's our, uh, like, um, you know, he's the one who put all the things together with the CTO. Unfortunately, the CTO is not available today, but Dr. Uh, Ahmed Nazar will be, uh, you know, uh, available to answer all these questions about Bitco tool. Okay. Dr. Nizal, or you want to just give us a quick, uh, you know, 10,000 foot overview of of Bitco tool and what it offers? 
يا فور شور هو ديسايدد تو انتر ذا بي اس سكان اور ذا بي اس سي توكنز اند هي هادن ذيز ايدياز اوكي ام سكان اوكي ام رد اند انفورتشنتلي اي واز ون اوف ذيم ايفن اي واز ستارتد ماي كريبتو ان 2011 i owned bitcoin 2011 but still i got trapped so uh, the idea behind bitcoin tool is uh, like there will be a dashboard or there will be like application or whatever you can name it uh, i have this x token it's new i look to the chart everything is green and going up so because you know as a human i'm greedy i want to make a profit so fast So before I will do this investment, uh, I should know uh, team wallet, for example, uh, liquidity pool, is it locked or not? Uh, how much or, or the top 10 wallets, how much they own from the token? Uh, another thing, uh, the contract itself, is it modified? Is it native? Uh, w- which I mean by native, it is It's written from the scratch or use different libraries. Uh, something like that. Uh, another thing, does the owner uh, of the, co- the contract owns everything or he did like bad doors or something like that? Uh, our tool, simply, you will search on this token contract. It will give you like a little bit output or a little bit report telling you that the liquidity pool is uh, locked. or open, uh, this, uh, the top 10 are those, uh, team uh, wallet is open, and we are thinking about something crazy, uh, I don't know if the programmer will agree about with me or not, uh, we will try to uh, find if this, those wallets, or the token wallets, has anything to do with rewards, for example, our token, so, In this case, this report will give you like better chance to make a quick decision whether to invest or not. About dragging, a lot of us, they joined some tokens and uh, after they had like a ton of money, they couldn't sell, which is like, let's say, honeypot. So in this case, this tool will tell you that you can sell, you can't sell. What is our differentiation in this case? Uh, like, let's say uh, there is like two or three websites, they can do this for you. Uh, but uh, we differentiated in a simple way that all those reports, you don't need to go to jump from a site to another site. You don't have to see like a ton of advertisements. For me, I hate ads. So in this case, just click copy paste the contract A simple uh, report will give you like a, try to help you to make like a better in better decision. So okay, this is like a, for me it's a little bit safe. Uh, I will join. No, I stop. My money. Uh, I need my money. I'm not going to invest. So a bit tool. It's simple like this. I'm not going to go in depth. Uh, so to make all people understand, and uh, I wish that uh, all people will change the idea about me that I'm the, the geek of more. No, I'm simple like you. I'm human. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, well stated. You know, I think anytime we can equip ourselves with a tool to be able to assess, you know, our own, you know, investments, that's always yeah. necessary. Because like I said, if I'm just aping into everything, if I have an easy tool to use, That's always yes. going to help quite a bit. Now, yes. you've got several team members. You, you've got uh, uh, Dr. Nizal. You've, you've got all of you guys are, are in here. How big is your team? How, I mean, is everybody here in here? That, um, you said you had a lot of community members that had followed you over here. But from development to marketing to, you know, CFO, how, how, how deep do you guys run? Well, um, you won't believe it, but uh, so far, the one who's working, like the team members who's working on daily basis to finish all the tasks, uh, 27 members. And as Whoa. I mentioned, yeah, as I mentioned, none of them is on the payroll. We don't pay salaries. We don't pay anything for them. They are just... Same so wait a second, wait a second. Maybe I, misunder- maybe I misunderstood you earlier. 
So it's not uh, just that they're community members. They actually are contributing to the project and, and are a part of the team in that sense and that they're contributing to the project, but they're not, uh, they're not taking home any money except for what they, you know, they're, they're doing it because their investment is, uh, you know, will do better if they stand behind it. Is that what I'm understanding? Exactly. Exactly. Because, um, let's be honest again about the, this part, Stephen, when you pay for someone to do the, the, the task, uh, or if, if he's on, on, on the payroll, then he will do what, what is required from him, not what he should do. Right. So when we gathered ourselves and we say that, okay, we are as a team, we are not looking, uh, uh, for the benefits as rewards from, for, for the wallets or extra money or to keep the wallets open. And they all decided that, hell yeah, let's do it. Nothing to lose. Right. But yeah, everything yeah. that will, will come in the future is a win. So, uh, with them and thanks for them, most of them actually here, thanks for them. They believed and they, they built something huge and amazing. Believe me that Bitcoin mine is not just Bitcoin mine, that the head is Bitcoin and under Bitcoin, under Bitcoin, there will be Bitcoin mine, Bitcoin tool, Bitcoin cycle, Bitcoin flex, Bitcoin supercharge. And I can't, I can't tell you Bitcoin Academy, a lot of I, things. I believe we just had some products announced. Yeah. I believe we just, yeah. Uh, we just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like this. Uh, uh, actually, something huge is coming on the way as well, but I can't mention the name. Uh, well, the team is, uh, you know, part of the community and the community is part of the team. So all, I, I, all together. I love that you hit on that so hard. And I think, I really do think this as far as like community managers and even, you know, anything that you might be on a token team, the best way to get it is from the community so that they will be passionate about the project. Anybody that's just working for their, uh, you know, to be able to get a, a you know, uh, some amount of crypto in some form may not have the passion as somebody that is a true investor holds on to uh, your token mm -hmm. and then wants to, you know, it makes them want to make the whole project exactly. a success, which exactly. I, I really like. So let's talk about the future a little bit. Uh, you, you talked about, you know, a, a secret that you've got, but what about for marketing? You, you got a smart team because you're using airdrop, uh, but uh, what, what else do you have planned? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> That's, yeah. Don't reveal, actually, don't it's reveal your secrets. <laughs> don't reveal your secrets. <laughs> don't reveal the secrets. I like that. <laughs> well, actually, we are looking now for... Um, I'm so happy. First of all, I'm so happy for the partnership between us and the airdrop. And they are uh, an amazing team. Uh, I like, I like the way how they are managing the things, even though we, we are looking for a small community now, but we believe in, in, in opportunities and we believe that in the future, they will become something very huge because what, what brings to my attention them that, that, that they are a very strong team. They don't accept any scam tokens, which is something I very, you know, loved it about them. Yep. And I respect it as well. It's amazing that they are considering and choosing the right people to partner with, with. And this is a very amazing thing. These days, you know, Stephen, you can't get people uh, just in the, in the queue. They can, you know, get anyone to do an air job. But, but those guys, they are not. They are choosing the people carefully those who are willing to work with. Well, cause and, can you imagine, can you imagine if they didn't choose carefully, uh, the investors would get, you know, airdrop would get, you'd get dropped something that eventually rugs and it makes you not want to invest in partner projects as it is, as they do it, since they do the vetting, since they do all the things that are needed to do to make sure that it's a good project, it makes, you know, I'm an airdrop holder. A lot of people that are listening are airdrop holders. It makes them more willing to invest in the projects that they get dropped because they feel like, hey, the hit rate on this is a hell of a lot better than I'm going to see anywhere else. So it makes people want to put in their hard earned BNB into something. Hands up for, for the airdrop team. I love them. I like the way how they are working and so glad that we have this partnership. So give us some uh, sound effects about that. Okay. How about... Uh 
Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I had I told you I had something for everything. <laughs> well, that's that that that's great, and I know that you'll have marketing in the future um, besides AirDrop to get you know further right. and further, more and more people in. And, you know, some people do that from ads. Some people do, uh, you know, shilling and just say, hey, let's all head to this particular Telegram channel that allows shilling and let's let's hit them hard. There's all kinds of different strategies that, that can and do work. And I know you'll do that. But what I do know after talking to you a lot here is that your community is very important to you and that you rely on your community for idea generation for, mm-hmm. you know, helping out with helping out with everything that you may do um, to be able to kind of augment what it is that you the team is trying to do y'all aren't all just fancy equations although you are fancy equations uh, you, <laughs> that, that isn't that isn't what you're limited to that isn't what you're limited to so here's what i'll say to airdrop people you're about to get an airdrop you may have already gotten i haven't been refreshing my screen here but the airdrop is occurring now or will be occurring shortly Amazing. you're going to get yeah you're going to be able to get some of their holder numbers are going to go up by quite a bit which will help them get listed on some different uh, listings and we'll you know we'll help out with that but go over to their telegram ask a few questions you've heard how intelligent they can be here speaking to 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 me uh, but go over there and ask them some questions matter of fact let me just open up the uh, let me just open up the mic here. If anybody would like to ask them a question just verbally here, and some guys, you just I just play the cricket uh, sound effect here. But if anybody would like to ask them a question, unmute that mic and go for it. Please, we are welcoming any questions. So if you guys have any question, uh, please let us know. Even if you can open the mic, <laughs> you can just text it. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you know what? That happens sometimes. Just there's some people, one of y'all had said earlier that, you know, you, you don't like they are, um, uh, you know, they didn't feel like they were good at English. And I think a lot of people just feel like that. Just they don't know that they can speak on a microphone, but That's they're real okay. good at typing. Yeah, and it is okay. And, it, and if you feel like you're, it would be, uh, you have questions, but you would rather type them. Absolutely do that. These guys will be happy to hear from you and mm-hmm. be able to, uh, you know, answer them. Do it in their Telegram. Go over there into their Telegram, especially after you get your drop, and just say, "Hey guys, got my got my uh, little bit of a uh, token from AirDrop, and uh, tell me about your token." And I will bet not just these guys that are speaking, but the community over there will tell you a little bit about that as well. Get involved. Head back over there. Here's some instructions I'm going to give um, to to you two that I've been talking to. Don't be a stranger with us. If you want to get the most out of the airdrop uh, community, come back on over here to the airdrop telegram every now and then. When you've got a promotion that you're doing, publish it over here um, as well, because we've got a community that wants to hear about it. They're going to get more drops. And if you don't make yourself uh, visible over here, then they're going to get their mind. Out. Everybody's got a goldfish brain, right? And, and just moves on to the next thing. So I encourage you, I guess is what I'm saying is stay, don't just be strangers after today, please come, come on over, say, say hi, say hi to me. I run a voice chat. I'm going to start doing it once a week to where um, uh, I just, take different developers to give one or two little prom, you know, one or two little sentences that they want to say about a promo that they're doing. So come mm-hmm. on into that. Don't be a stranger, I guess is all is my ultimate thing. We I'm are not, here. we are so, not, we are not, we are partners. We are friends. We are one community and we, we actually love the, 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 the chat here. And um, thanks for the, for the hosting and thanks for having us today. Thanks for this opportunity for Bitcoin mine. We believe that we need still more exposure. We need the people to help us. The more you add, the more you get more traders, the more you will get uh, Bitcoin, the more you have people, the more the, uh, you know, benefits goes to everyone. So, um, I, I can see that Steve, uh, Steve G he's, he's, uh, he's unmuted that mic. Yep. Yeah. I, I- I have unmuted the mic. Hopefully my English is okay. No, it is. It is. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, a little bit of color. So the, um, where, what was it? The Bitco cycle. Um, it, that's interesting to me because I, I don't think I've seen that before. Uh, I, I think actually it's a, it's a great idea. So basically if you're, if you're receiving, uh, that part of the rewards, you, you get it for the first and the second day, but then you have to kind of interact with the token again 
in order mm-hmm. to to continue to receive it. I think that's that's brilliant. How do, how did you come up with that? Oh, what a question, Steve. So uh, actually, I'm 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 the guy uh, who was like keep digging everywhere um certified i have a bachelor degree in it i have a bachelor degree in business administration uh marketing i have a few certificates in the uh, digital marketing i love i love the being like online all the time and um as well as the doctor who's like he's the genius of the math and we have actually one of uh, the team member who is the cto actually uh, his, his name is Abdul Aziz and he's, he's genius. He know how to put all things together when it comes to coding. So, uh, they came up, both of them, they came up with ideas. Like we have seen stacking everywhere and we have seen like some ideas related, but it's always hard to do it because you have to look on the, on the amount that you have to invest. For example, if you go now to Binance and you have, you choose to, uh, to enter the uh, stacking, then you have to wait for 60 days or one, 180 or whatever time that they will ask you. And then the benefits behind it or the outcome of it is not much actually. You need uh, uh, tons of dollars to 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 actually to get that much uh, of of uh, outcome, but in our case we decided that uh, why not uh, having the people to join us in a small game, which is Bitcoin Cycle, let them get benefits, and when they get benefits, right when they get the outcome of the Bitcoin Cycle. They have to sell it on daily basis, so they will also get rewards and BTC, and the other part of of the community will get rewards on and, and BME. The trading volume will keep moving, and uh, our our like our community is happy, and we will be happy. Everyone will be happy. So, how did we come up with this idea? Because it's mixed between marketing and math. When you you when you merge both of those uh, like when you merge between math and marketing you will uh, you will get some good ideas, but to implement it on the in the on the real world on the uh, uh, programming side, you need to get a genius guy. So we had him. His name is Abdulaziz, and he is genius actually. So it's based on a smart contract as well. The Bitcoin cycle will be uh, live after 50 days or 51 days now. After that, I hope that you guys join it. All you need to do is hold that mount and well, whatever outcome comes from it, sell it. And, and whatever outcome from BME you will get, just sell it to stay in the Bitcoin cycle. And uh, honestly speaking, you will be shocked from the trading volume we are expecting a huge numbers, you know? So that's, you can, you can, al- you can also buy it, right? You don't know. You can, you just yes, have to trade yes. that amount. Yes. You can also, uh, uh, jump to, to the second cycle. You can uh, increase the amount. Let us say that we are asking for the first cycle, a hundred million. All right. So I'm going to write it down <clears throat> to just make it easy for, for all of us to understand it. So uh, 100 million is the uh, amount. Uh, 100 million is the amount required to join the uh, Bitcoin cycle. Let us say it will be for 12 days. Uh, the keyboard is keep it changing to other language. So uh, 12 days every day you will get three percent. Maybe it, it will be 3%. And by the way, all these numbers are just an example. So uh, the Bitcoin cycle depends on the trading volume, depends on how many holders we have. Uh, uh, there are a lot of elements that will uh, control what decision to make uh, when it comes to the math. 
and of course the doctor will 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 explain it. Uh, so uh, 100 million for 12 days. All you need to do whenever you have, whenever you get the the extra three percent, right? So it's a three million. So all you need to do it is just sell it, or you have the second choice. Maybe the 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 other cycle is already published or live which is uh, the minimum amount required is uh, 200 million. Uh, I'm explaining and writing. Uh, you can jump to the other uh, cycle if you wish. Uh, that's fine. But all you need to do is keep that amount. It's either the 100 million or the 200 million. Just keep it as it is on daily basis. Nothing more. And you will enjoy the... the, the uh, the ROI, if we can say, um, you will enjoy the outcome. That's it. Love it. Love it. Well, OG Steve G, I hope that uh, answered your question a little bit, give it a little bit more color to the Bitco cycle. And uh, yeah, uh, excellent. It did. Um, just a, a little bit of uh, news for everyone waiting for the airdrop that's gone out to, I think, around 50. 1500 wallets. Uh, BSC has been a little slow this morning, but uh, we will we'll mm -hmm. done. It's, it's always been this, actually. Yeah. Excellent. Well, yeah, we'll get out. Like I said, they'll, they'll, their numbers will go up by, you know, four figures in, in wallets soon, which will uh, really yeah. help them. But what will really help them is uh, some good community engagement. So, like I said earlier, head on over there. Get them to explain. Get Doctor Nizal to explain math to you, and uh, <laughs> that that that'll always be good. And then ask them about uh, ask them about rock music. They they, they like Metallica <laughs> over there, so I just ask them about that. But all right, guys. Well, it has been a pleasure. There we go. So we're gonna applause. It's been a you. pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, loved having you all over here. Don't be a stranger. Pop in on one of my impromptu voice chats one day and and uh, say something that you've got promoing over there. Something that's going on good in your neck of the woods. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's not make me make this be the last time we talk. Yeah, I promise you something, uh, Stephen. That uh, soon I will join you to announce something very amazing we will do Ooh. and uh, uh, just, stay, just stay tuned and <laughs> believe me that we will be all right all right <laughs> I like I'm, the I'm, sound effects actually <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited I'm excited all right yeah. guys well, <laughs> this was a fantastic AMA head on over there again this is the Bitco Mine token go to bitcomindtoken.com check out their white paper check out their telegram ask about math, look into uh, doing your own research and potentially investing in it. He's told you a lot of great things about this token of what it can mean for you to get these rewards and some of the unique ways that they are tackling some of the issues that uh, you may face. So I appreciate all of your time. I will have this recorded, put it out on YouTube and get it out to everyone that wasn't able to listen to it live, but I appreciate all of your time. Thank you very much for having us again and see you soon. Thank, Thank you. See you soon. Great, great AMM. <laughs>